Welcome WPP Stars, my name is Kun. I'm cooking in El Billy Shanghai Happy Spanish restaurant and I'm going to prepare a super special recipe for you guys. When I first came to China, I saw all the bread is steamed in this country, you know. But in the country where I, I come from, I'm from Holland, we always bake the bread, you know. So I had an idea why I, I'm not making a brioche recipe and I steam it, you know. But that's what I did, you know. And to my surprise, I saw that this brioche recipe it came out so perfectly, so soft, and so nice, you know. The problem with the brioche recipe is the brioche is really fresh in a Spanish, uh, a Spanish restaurant. So I had to change this recipe. And what I did, I, I replaced the butter in the brioche, I replaced it for sobra asada. So, sobra asada is, a, is, a, is like a very fatty sausage from Mallorca. So here we have a sobra asada brioche, it tastes like chorizo. And here we're gonna make a small ball out of this. It's important you make the ball really nice, like this. We add a little bit of flour here. And we're gonna make this ball perfectly round. This ball. A perfect round ball on the table. It's most important you put a lot of a lot of love in this recipe. So we have a nice little ball here. We have the ball here. We put it in a tray on the cheese cloth. And now I'm gonna show you guys how it's traditionally done in China. Follow me. Traditional dim sum steamer here. I'm gonna take it off. Now I put the bread inside like this. Make sure it's all done. We put the lid and we keep it for six minutes. Okay, so here we go. Here we have the, the nice steamed mini chorizo bun. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a small hole inside here with my knife. And I do it like this a small hole because I want to stuff this mini sandwich. Here we go. Then we just take with a knife, we're gonna remove all of this. We make a hole so we can put all delicious stuff inside. Okay? So here we have the bread with a small hole. I take a little bit of chorizo paste, it's just chorizo blended with some onion. Very delicious. Then, I have a cherry tomato. I take like a quarter cherry tomato, just to keep it juicy. We put it here. Then we have a quail egg. This is a quail egg. We open it up. Make sure there's no shell. We're gonna put it inside the mini bread. Inside the mini bread. Put, put the tomato and we cover it with a really delicious piece of chorizo. Then we're gonna put this in the oven. Follow me, please. We're gonna put this in the oven just to warm up for about one minute. Meanwhile, we can prepare the plate. All the plates in El Billy restaurant, I actually make them myself. So I follow a pottery course and I make the plates myself. So this represents a small tree. Here we have the nest. It's gonna be the nest in the tree. And the name of this dish is the Nido Mallorquin. Nido in Spanish means nest and Mallorquin is from Mallorca. So a nest from Mallorca. We clean up a little bit. And we go to pick up the bread. Just what we want to do is that the, the egg is slightly warm, but we don't want to cook it throughout it because then it's not so nice and juicy anymore when you put it in your mouth. And then the chocolate needs to melt, of course. It doesn't need to be hot, hot. It needs to be delicious. All the food we make here in the restaurant, we make with a lot of love, you know, for our special customers. And today, especially for WPP stars, we we'll put some extra. So here we go. Here you can see that the chorizo is nice and melted. And the egg is still runny inside. We will place this. We will place this in the mini needle. We're gonna place this in the meeting needle like this, and on the top we put some whipped egg white 
with some salt and spices. This, to finish it perfectly, we take the blowtorch, which is almost like a gun, and we slowly, slowly make it slightly brown on the top. This is my dish, Nido Mayo King, made for WPP stars in an Albini restaurant in Shanghai. Guys, try. Super delicious. <laughs>